Now, and then the guy compounds it by double down. And then he compounds it by lying and saying they're not teaching critical race theory when on the very website of the Board of Education is the encouragement to teach it. We got about 100 teachers claiming that they teach it in school. We got 1,000 parents saying their kids come home and say, Mommy, am I a boy? So, of course, they're teaching it. That's where this is all. That's why those parents get angry. And then if you're a parent and you find out that these people are being being picked on because they're complaining about it, even if they lose their temper somewhat. I don't know what I would do if my son had come home or daughter and somebody started playing around with their agenda. Uh, I'd be pretty darn angry. I sure as I sure as heck wouldn't become a domestic terrorist, though. You know, when they say power corrupts or D.C. changes you, these are all sayings that we hear all the time and really don't think much about. Well, Rudy Giuliani is proof that there is absolute truth to that. Nothing says power turns you into a deranged lunatic that unsips his zipper during interviews or having his hair dye melt down the side of his face like Rudy Giuliani. I never really liked Rudy even when he was America's mayor. But when he speaks now, I honestly get a confused, peculiar look on my face because I'm trying to understand what the hell it is that he's actually saying. It takes me a while just to figure out what he's talking about. And sometimes I don't even think he fully knows what he's talking about. Rudy has lost all respect and sense of decency. Normally, I would go right after Rudy Giuliani and try to rip him apart, but I can't. I must admit, I can't do that because this clip, Rudy's crazy, and I can't even begin to try to understand what he is saying. Instead, let's focus on the outlet that gave him the platform to speak. Fox Propaganda Network no longer uses Rudy because they got tired of trying to cover up whatever nutty crap that he was saying. So who talks to Rudy now? Newsmax, OAN, the far right wing fringe wackos who operate in their own universe. Only the most extreme deranged people turn to those networks. And when they do, they get a heavy dose of Rudy, the My Pillow guy, and Satan himself, Steve Bannon. The call for Joe Biden isn't, is it? Who was it called by? All the, oh my goodness, all the networks. Wow. All the networks. We have to forget about the law. Judges don't count. All the networks, all the networks. All the networks thought Biden was going to win by 10%. Gee, what happened? Come on, don't, don't be don't be ridiculous. Networks don't get to decide elections. Courts do. Rudy Giuliani belongs in jail. He has committed more crimes than I can count. All of his associates are in jail, and he is a public threat. I want to know why it's taking so long for Attorney General Merrick Garland. You know, I trust Merrick Garland, and I know that he has a very difficult job to do. But this man is a threat to the public, and he needs to be made an example out of. He led an insurrection. He tried to bribe a foreign leader. He made a mockery out of America for the past six years. He has had his law license stripped, and he needs to be arrested. Maybe then OEN and Newsmax can interview him in his orange jumpsuit next to his orange savior, Donald Trump. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.